Friday, April 24th, where Darby and I are down at the studio to unload the 25th firing of this gas kiln at Little Mountain Pottery. We're going to unload the kiln and everything's going to be available online. By the time you see this video, Darby and I will be relocated in Boston and settling in there. So this will be a virtual kiln opening for you all. And so let's open it up. It's cooled for a day. The firing takes about eight hours on Wednesday, and then it cools all day on Thursday. And so I have went pretty heavy on the reduction this time, which brings out the the iron in the red clay. It's a, almost black in color. So here's the vase. While I'm firing the kiln, I'm watching these cones melt. And so this last one is cone one. So it's just just to cone one. There's several of these covered jars. This time I didn't glaze the the lip and the lid. So I can fire it with the lid on. Of these unglazed bowls that are fun. Then a bunch of vases up, up top. The, there's a vase with the adratum flowers pattern. And a utensil holder with some blue irises. scratched with a fork and then it has green finger spots lately I've been experimenting with leaving more of the pot unglazed to let the gas firing show the, the clay there's a Instrument platter. There are two of these in the skill mode. String band instruments, the banjo and fiddles. And here's the second instrument platter. Long platter that could hang on the wall with the bloodroot pattern, bloodroot flowers bloom here in the spring out in the woods. A little casserole, the snowdrop flowers. Here's a rabbit. Platter. There are lots of rabbits around here jumping around. Our dog Trudy likes to chase them. Didn't the cord. <laughs> See the blue eye. Oh, look at the little blue eye. There's an iris platter. Bloodroot platter. These all have the unglazed rim. Yeah, I like the decoration a lot. There's a dogwood platter. Darby made me promise to do some dogwoods in this kiln load. And here's the pro, pro platter. Shelf of bowls, little one pound bowls, one pound of clay, more dogwoods, 
in spring here, the dogwoods bloom early and there are no leaves on the trees yet. You can look through the woods and it'll be just a bunch of white dots. You can see exactly where the dogwood trees are. Snowdrop pattern. It's a nice little loose platter with a wavy rim. So they're similar to Claude's ramekins. They are done with the same mold that Claude made. Ooh. There's a snake platter. Cute. Black rat snakes. Love the studio here. <laughs> yeah, one uh, came right through the front door of the studio once while I was working. Um, I have pictures of it somewhere. Maybe I'll add that to this video. A couple more of these dishes. Make some of these one pound. Good size for ice cream or cereal. Here's some crow mugs. Simple. Little snowdrop mugs. More snowdrop mugs. The mugs have all been dipped in the white slip before they've been fired. An Adratum mug. And the snowdrop flowers. The fork and finger spots. <clears throat> One last crow mug. That's it. We wish we uh, we could have done this in person with all of you, but uh, look for all of these pots uh, on the online shop, and we hope to see you soon. <laughs>